Corey or your ride checking in LOJ Fit Club. Today, we are going to be speaking about how to rid menstrual pain. This is the health tip for the week, how to rid menstrual pain. Um, we're going to bring a, a video on from one of my favorite herbalists, one of my favorite natural healers. His name is Patrick Delves. He's out of Grenada. You're going to see a lot of him on our channel and a lot of his work. Okay, he has healed people from many different diseases known to the Western world to be impossible to do so um, through herbs and natural healing. So without further ado, let's go ahead and watch the video explaining what you can do immediately to, to rid yourself of menstrual pains. Go ahead and watch to the end. Um, I'll do some additional commentary at the end of the video. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, this morning uh, we're doing a, a drink for, especially for women, and this drink is going to help a woman to, uh, especially if she's suffering from menorrhagia, meaning she has excessive amount of bleeding. Some women bleed for months, so this is going to be a drink to help back the, to build back the blood and to help the, with what we call passive bleeding in a woman. You understand? It also going to help to uh, regulate the water or move the excessive amount of water if the woman is suffering from edema, all right? It's going to also build the blood. It's going to help with circulation. Yeah. And if you have an excessive amount of bleeding, we put in some ginger and some cinnamon, which will help to uh, circulate the, the proper uh, 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 circulation through the capillaries. But the, the cinnamon deals with what we call passive bleeding. But before we move on, there is a way you have to mix your fruits and your vegetables. Do not ever mix a fruit with a vegetable, except with an apple, because apple is natural. <coughs> and do not mix the acid fruits, like an orange over here. Yeah, Do not mix an orange with any sweet fruit. So oranges should never be mixed with, say, ripe bananas or, or pears, any sweet fruit. Look at the, the, the oranges, they are in families. So oranges have similar seeds to uh, lime and lemon and grapefruits and gospels and they're families. So they should be used together as a family because the seeds are similar. All right, the grapes, the grapes over here now uh, should not be used without seeds. Always buy grapes with seeds and always buy them certified organic. That's very significant, okay? So let's uh, talk about what this mixture gonna do all right and never use uh protein you see i use the vegan protein that's my protein i use vegan protein i don't use no flesh protein my protein is vegan see my vegan protein that's what i use complete vegan protein but you never use proteins or eat a fruit after you ingest protein foods never do that it's bad all right it's going to spoil digestion all right so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to use all the some acid fruits and we're going to use one acid fruit in the mixture to help the alkaline a little bit. So this is the lemon right here. Lemon juice is right here. I'll be squeezing the lemon in here. And then we did the coconut water right here. That's the coconut water here. And the coconut water have a lot of electrolytes and helps to um, keep you hydrated. And then we use the sorrel right here. And then we come and we use some strawberries and some um, uh, uh, apples and your grapes and that's what we're going to use today to make a, a mixture to build the blood and if a woman have what we call uh, um, menorrhagia you will put in about one apple in the mixture you can put two apples if you like that's up to you you know in the, in the blender a few strawberries and then you um, you put in your you throw your um, your lime lemon juice in there and then you put in your your uh coconut water all right make sure you have enough coconut water at least uh eight ounces of coconut water and then you put in your sorrel mix with your ginger and your cinnamon now all right and then you could use an orange because orange is the uh, what we call acid fruits but it could mix with the sub acids right and then you're gonna Blend it up. First, you're gonna chop it up. Yeah. And then you're gonna purify it. 
Now, once that is purified, a woman should have two to three cups of this or glasses, eight ounce glasses, three times per day. And that will help to build her blood and help the circulation. And if there is passive bleeding, the cinnamon will also help to stop the bleeding a little bit if she has what we call an erythra. And if you have a little period pain, you should take some magnesium liquid, or you could put some magnesium liquid in the blender, about um, 40, 50 drops of magnesium liquid in the blender, and magnesium acts as what we call an antispasmodic mineral, and then it helps to stop the pain if you're having what we call period pain. All right? And when you do that for about a month or so, what you do for me is you hold your hands like this, and you do like this. Two, three, four, five. You see the blood? Then you will know now that your blood is moving. So you have an idea now that your blood is building. See? You will have to move the blood regularly. So once you can squeeze your hand like your, your, your palm like this five times and open it again, you can see the blood start moving. And then you're gonna know if you have good blood or not. And that's the way to build your blood and keep the um keep your 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 your, your menstruation intact and prevent swelling of your feet and your hands. And also keep the heart healthy because strawberries help the kidneys and the heart and the sorrel helps the intestines plus build the blood. Your grapes also build the blood but have a lot of antioxidants. And then you have your coconut water that have all your electrolytes to keep you healthy and your lime, your lemon juice to keep yourself alkaline. All right? <coughs> and that is the way you build your blood as a woman if you have menorrhagia or if you are suffering from anemia. You do three to four glasses of this per day. And in one month, your age be supposed to be at least 13.5. All right, as a woman. Have a blessed day. And tomorrow, if God give a sentence trip, you're going to do a, a, um, So, I hope you was able to, um, you know, focus and hear through his accent. He has a heavy Caribbean accent, but we got to get this information. So, we're not going to use none of that as an excuse. So, a couple things that I want you to take from this. Uh, number one, he said to do this for about a month that you should uh, uh, notice a difference. I'm sure you'll notice even uh, uh, um, before 30 days. However, be consistent, do it for a month, and you should notice a difference like this. Two to three times a day, you take this. So you make one big one, you store some of those, um, you know, in a refrigerator, however, um, and, you know, you just take a cup of it three times a day, two, two times, you know, try two times a day. You know, three times is too much. Now, I do want to say this. That's what the video, but let me explain something. 90% of our clientele, um, and women clientele who actually goes vegan stop having menstrual pain or the other 10% at least reduce the menstrual pain. So plant-based diet or just a plant-based diet. So that's, that's automatically going to dramatically improve it. But let's say for whatever reason it doesn't, or you're not ready to go plant-based. Then here's a quick, you know, um, Here's something that you can do consistently to help, you know, even with the lifestyle. But I know he I know him. So I know he's going to always recommend a plant based uh, diet regardless. So one month. OK. And he said you could test it with the fist and I mean, you know, ball them to a fist and see if the blood, if it turns red, the blood is circulating. OK. Number two is anybody who's suffering from pain. You can you can get magnesium liquid for pain. And he said to put about 40 to 50 drops inside of the of the concoction and you should be able to alleviate the pain with the magnesium liquid. OK, another thing is do not mix. Here's some side notes. Never mix sweet fruits with acidic fruits like oranges, lemons, limes or whatever. Don't mix those with, um, you know, uh, uh, sweet fruits, bananas, pears. You know, mangoes, they don't mix. Okay. Also, don't mix um, your fruits with veggies. He said, with the exception of apples, because apple is a neutral fruit. So, here's the thing that I need you to, you know, learn from that. I'll start applying this stuff. You know, I'm going to give it a health tip every single week. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, subscribe at LOJ Fit Club. 
If you haven't subscribed to our Instagram at LOJ Fit Club, Facebook, LOJ Space Fit Club. Okay. Another thing is, is this. The reason why we make these types of videos with these different types of professionals in their respective field is because what we serve is a median through the average everyday person who may not understand or may not, you know, know the best way to prepare these types of things that you need to do in order to heal naturally. So we coach you, you know, we learn and take courses and, and purchase courses from these types of individuals, you know, and then we learn that information and help you apply it to your, you know, uh, everyday life. So if you're somebody who needed in coaching or whatever the case may be, and brief, get in contact with us somehow, some way, and we'll help bridge the gap between the natural healers and or medical doctors who are on this path and the average day person that may be you. So with that being said, leave a comment, like it, share it, subscribe, let us know how this video and what this video did for you and let us know your results from the application of the information with that being said check us out lojfitclub.com get in contact with us and we are out peace